broadcast live. All right. We out here in yeah. stew with Shane Eagle. That's it, Finally, bro. the album came out. <sighs> Damn. Sheesh. What a blessing. Yo, yo, I, I had to tweet you. That's the weekend, actually. Yeah. That's what I was saying. It's the weekend. I was like, thank you. I feel you, bro. You know? Um, you were just telling me just like about like the process, the choosing of the songs and 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 like the playlist, how that was yeah. working. Um, how long how long how long was it did it take to get this project together? Yeah, I was like I was saying to you now I was like about a year and a half, bro. A year and a half of like uh recording it and like putting everything together and like trying to make sure that everything is like one whole, you know piece of art like one whole from start to like the end just like one cohesive like project and that's like yeah. so important you know and then I was saying that I was like sometimes people don't even understand that like track listing in itself like what song comes next what song like comes after how you made people feel like this like that even took like time on its own after recording and like finishing the album just like making sure that like when we played it from yellow first track to empty highways and like close it off that like the people feel like sheesh I'm out of the trance now you know what was the headspace though I mean for me it's it's totally unplugged from everything that's happening Definitely. Um, it, it, it's just it's got a mind of its own how did you get that independent sound that independent yeah. feel and 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 discipline yeah to because you know I can hear the flow I can hear yeah. the I can hear like the the, the stories I can hear like the emotion mm -hmm. you know the tone the tone is is, is, is so is so consistent yeah. you know what I mean and th there's a discipline to that you know it's as if it's an album you did over like one f you were going through one feeling yeah, yeah, in yeah. one time I you know you yeah. just wrapped it up yeah that's like a crazy way of actually putting it too because that's like sometimes that's how it feels but like it's like you you tap into like a space and a zone where like you completely detach yourself from everything that's out Mm -hmm. and everybody that's out like mm -hmm. you know it's like I got like the caps on and I just see what I'm doing that's yeah. all I see I don't see I don't look around I don't hear anything I'm just focused on what I'm doing detach myself from any sounds and just like make what I want to hear and like yeah. what what I'm doing you know so it's like in a in a sense like where it's like you stop making music for the masses in a sense and stop making music for yourself and the biggest blessing is that is when you've made music for yourself and the masses are like fucking with it and they like running with it it's like a blessing bro you know, the, like, and I'm getting to my questions. Yeah. This album where he like steps that up. Yeah. Um, you know, you mentioned your pops, your mother a couple of times, yeah. and you even told me that when you got the master, you played the song for yeah. your mother, and, <laughs> yeah. and you told her that the, your 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 favorite joint was um, was empty highways, empty and, highways yeah. and the the intro starts. I got yeah, pussy. Yeah, that's what I'm, 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 I'm saying. Like I'm shit. I'm just. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> your mother and your mother and you're like, Man, nah, that, that's like, not the message. Like, that's, that's not the message. <laughs> so I, I say I plug in. I have the master. Mm -hmm. Get to my mom's house. I'm like, I'm excited. Like you know, it's like it's online. It's like yo, we got the project. Yeah, it's mixed. Yeah, it's master. Yeah. Like everyone's like vibing. Yeah. It's like I, I'm gonna go play for my mom. Just get to the crib. It's like I wanna play for in the car. Mm -hmm. Play the whole album. She like finds like her favorite at the time was like need me she's like you know she likes need me mm -hmm. and I was like cool cool she's like what's your favorite mm -hmm. I'm like empty highways she's like okay play it for me <laughs> I get to empty highways it starts you know I got pussy on my mind and I got pussy on my lips and I'm like <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You can't it's be like, you can't be, yo, yo. I'm it's saying, the classic you album, mom, like, never mind, like, <laughs> 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 Just listen to it. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you can't be a G in front of your mom, bro. It's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so she, she, she just, like, passed by. But that, that's what happened. <laughs> so, like, seeing her reaction to it is, like, it's fire, you know? It's like, I, even though she doesn't understand, like, that is some motherfucking classic. Yeah, yeah. She, she's, like, she just listened to what so, I was saying, and yeah. she was, like, I like the message, and I, you know, mm -hmm. she's like, she's like that. I mean, you you mentioned your father also a couple of yeah. times in the album. I mean, it, it came across to me like um, either his absence or presence like played played an yeah. integral part in your life and in your content. You know, um, um, wh which was it? Was the absence? Was it the presence? I think it was like a balance between the both. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. with my dad, it's like. Uh, you know, I speak about on the album, like, you know, the times where, you know, he was, like, 
heavy like on the bottle and like he was like drinking and at that time it's like I just left the hood with my mom to try and get into like a better space with my dad and like yeah. he had yeah there's like the same drama going on you know yeah. and it's like so it was like it was those elements and it was the times where he was like a solid straight like good like a best friend you know yeah. like I was chilling with my dad and he was he was on some like um like I think the video came uh, I think like Let It Flow played on the yeah. TV and, and like he he's also he also doesn't know like about rap yeah. and like you know so he's giving like an Irish like a perspective on yeah. like rap music you know yeah, so like yeah. the, the video comes on and he's like he looks at me he's like it's quite good this one <laughs> so I look at him like, that's all he said he's like, I'm proud of you I said yeah. cool that's all that, and then that's what I do you know yeah. it's like I signing from the from the G I yeah, think you yeah, know yeah. you know so it's like it's those moments where it's like that best friend element with the pops and mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. he's just like been supporting it from like day one so I mean I, I mean in DNG you do say that like um like um um you do mention that you know your pops DNG yeah DNG you do mention that like you you've got a line where you do mention that your pops was an alcoholic but I think when you when you look at you basically obviously the glue between your yeah. like the, the relationship your mom and your pops yeah but when was it the first time because you just told me now the first time you realized that you're just not Shane Eagle yeah, anymore yeah, you are yeah. like superstar yeah, Shane Eagle, yeah. you know um when was the first time that like that element of like no besides that just from the old parents just for the first time when I think every parent literally has a I'm scared what's going to happen to you. Where, when where. was the first time they had kind of like, you, they saw yeah. you and they're like, sigh of relief? Yeah. I think like they, the edging that started with like, especially on my pops' side, when like the traveling, when you know, it's like you're gigging like so often and like, you know, and he used to see me in the crib like all the time and now it's like, you're never home. Yeah. You know, at that time yeah. he's like, oh, this is actually real now. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and for him, like he was, he was like, as a kid, he was always there for me. And it's like, mm. since it's been like, it hasn't been long since like high school and all of that. So he's always been like my everything. And for him to see me like be 100% independent so quick, we got an office now, mm. we got like, we move, like things, it's like for him, it's like so surreal, you yeah, know? Yeah, so yeah. it's like, they, they, they've been like, you know, proud, but at the same time, it's like, sheesh. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. It's just yeah. real now. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you have track two as your intro? Yeah. So it's like. And what is yellow? Also, yeah. what, what, what yellow? What is yeah. yellow? You know, you know. Yeah. Are yeah, you a I'm yellow saying. nigga? What yeah. is yellow? You know what I nah, mean? Nah, it's like it started off. It's like the whole the yellow. It's like any like sense of like nostalgia that I ever had. So it's like any memories, like as a kid, like the first one that pops up is like my grand, like when she was still around, mm -hmm. like the, the image I still have left of her in my head and like the visions, sometimes it's visions. It doesn't always have to be like a memory. It's like either vision, sometimes it's thoughts. Mm -hmm. It's usually like, you know, those memories and everything, those playing like that pastel yellow in my head. Like mm -hmm. I see it in that color, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like even when I dream, like it's, it's in that color. Mm -hmm. And like it's kind of like I think in that color, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, the and then everyone's like, you know, the al the album's called Yellow, but you got a pink shirt on. Like, mm -hmm. where is yeah. he? Is fuck you with us? It's like, nah. It's yeah. like, it's it's the thoughts and like the 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 writing and like the ideas and like the stories that I'm telling in the album mm -hmm. were in that color, and that's mm -hmm. why I called it Yellow because that's that's what it is. Shoot, that's yeah. I mean, that I guess plugs back to the consistency. I got a yellow thing behind your screen here, yeah, so that could, <laughs> yeah. be, that could be the yeah. thing. Yo, we are actually in the studio, yeah. by the way, yeah. in the yeah. office also. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to give it t t away too much, you know. <laughs> Just you guys can like daydream uh, a bit, think about it. So you felt that was key because every thought is yellow, and like so when you get into the intro, automatically. Oh, so so now it's like um, why the intro? Because that intro was the intro was yeah. the first song, but it's like when we were puzzling this thing together. Like as soon as you press play, it just starts mm -hmm. on that beat, and it's like, uh, it's like the album starts over me rapping about like this story of like my close, like my mm -hmm. best friend, like my homie who's going through some shit, mm -hmm. and it's like you know, it's like this, it's like this hectic story, you know, and this like uh, truthful story about what's happening in my in my homie's life, but it's like I need to bring you up to speed with like the mood and feel of this album, and now that that's out of the way, now we can start the album. Like now the journey begins. Now that I've got that message out the way mm -hmm. for you to keep in the back of your head, so when I mention it later, it's like mm. you can yeah, connect yeah, the dots. Yeah. Um, so after this, you know, you also say um, 
Um, you'd rather die broke than sign a deal, you yeah. know? I'd rather yeah. die with the best of the music than fuck around and sign that deal. Now, if you had a, have any, if you rather have any, thanks for correcting me because yeah. that's not the way to go out in any yeah, case. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Hey, you literally just like, yo, 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 yeah. man, and go get that energy out. You Please. know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, have you any offers after this album? Uh, I mean, any calls, you know, what, yeah, what, call, what, call, what, what, like, what, what has been the most surprising call after this album? It's just like so many, uh, like brands, I think, you mm. know, for me, it's like yeah. brands, you know, that I, you know, those conversations happening, but it's like, we keep it like, everything is like planned and everything's measured. So we, we know when like everything's supposed to fall in place. Like I believe in like perfect timing, you yeah, know, like yeah. from the momentum, from like day one, like how you plan everything, what's the next move, what's coming next, like how are they like following this journey with you? It's supposed to be like, you know, the rise to like you change the world, you mm -hmm. know, they gotta go with you on that, yeah. like from the beginning, you know, so yeah. it's like the, the calls are like, oh, all right, all right. I see you. I see you, it's yeah, nice, yeah, I see yeah. you, you know, so. Yeah. Shout out to, like you never complain about that, but. It's just like, and even like with a label, I think like, especially with like what we're doing at Eagle Entertainment and like how we're trying to do it, it's like, I think I'll even like take a, a partnership rather than like signing a deal right mm -hmm. now. I feel like it's 2017, bro. Everything is so quick. Everything's so easy. It's like, I've been in spaces where it's like, so this is, this is how stuff can actually happen. Like people have an idea of like, if you do this and like you drop this album and you sign this deal and that's the way you go. But it's like things happen in like such crazy ways in this industry and in life that it's like everything is so close right now. So I feel yeah. so close to everything and like, you know, I feel I feel everything around me, so it's cool. On um on strange you say I wear my heart on my sleeve, same reason I'm still working this to degree. college degree. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, come on, yeah. you know, I don't I don't want you to think I'm a bad guy yeah. line, so you know I can't <laughs> I have to paraphrase it, you know okay, what I mean? Okay, okay. <laughs> um uh, um, are you still stu are you studying? Are you nah, have I'm you got intentions of yeah, studying? Yeah, and I if you were yeah, studying, yeah. what would you be studying? Yeah, I got I got like intentions of studying, like getting back at it. It's so just do like I've been saying that for fifteen <laughs> years. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I'm just trying to figure out like um, the right space in my life right now, like yeah. when to do it. But I do like you know that's why I'm like even on like the new projects we're working on, like uh, reading more and like getting more like diving deep into like what I stand for and like what I want to put out there, you know? Yeah. So I definitely want to like um, read more and like study more and like just take it further. But I don't know at this point like what I, what I would study. At first I thought it would be something in music, yeah, you know? Yeah. At, first, at first it wasn't that. You know, in high school everyone's pressure, you're gonna study this, you're gonna mm -hmm. go to law school, you're gonna be a lawyer or whatever. Mm -hmm. Then it's like, I ain't no motherfucking lawyer. I'm yeah. a motherfucking superstar. You yeah. talking about, you know, lawyer? <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I, I guess that would like figure itself, but I but I definitely wanna do that. Um, do you? You going back? Um, <laughs> I'm, I was I was busy with rap. <laughs> now, I'm busy, you. now I'm busy building this slick on life business. You know what I mean? I got you, I got you, bro. <laughs> But I will. But I encourage y'all to go back to school. Definitely stay I'm in school. A, I'm gonna study. With, I'm gonna study, and I'm gonna have all the money in the world. Okay. I'm gonna study just so I can say I can read two motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I can read two motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. um, on can you see? You say don't even put me in your top five because four those niggas couldn't come back from from where I survived. Um, what's the realest real, realest thing that you've seen that validates that statement? Oh, the realest thing. I yeah, think, yeah. I, I think like some like person like I knew very well like getting shot like in front of me mm -hmm. I think for me that was like the weirdest thing like I've always been fascinated with life even as a kid mm -hmm. you know understanding it like just like you know still like people don't understand like being alive is such a, a crazy thing man like you know just being able to do like simple things and like seeing that like being taken from someone in front of you makes you have like an appreciation for life like that quick yeah, you know, it's like um, that's interesting. The way you said that it reminded me of something. Do you know of an artist called OC? OC, no, yeah. no, no. So you must look for it. I mean, thanks yeah. to streaming, OC look for an album called Sheesh. Word Life, and there's a song called Born to Live. You yeah, know? and he talks about like his friend getting shot and. And like he talks about, you know, and when somebody is gone, that's when you realize how close you were, how close you were, hey. like a star. And and he just talks about like how he was so young and he realized how that the flesh mm. is weak. You know, it, you would, you would, you know, OC I couldn't, hear that. 
OC couldn't continue that sort of introspective writing mm. um, after that album. Uh, it just became disappointing. Sheesh. But that, that album... OC, you got, OC, man, like Sneaker <laughs> said, you got to get back up there, bro. Yo, see y'all say? What I'm saying, though, if you listen to OC Word Life, I think... You, well, listen to Born to Live specifically. Yeah. Try and listen to the whole album. Um, you gonna relate to that? I feel it. I'm definitely so. So that was like what made me like you know, in in that situation. It's like, but but also I, I mean it in like m m so many more ways than like you know being put in the top five. It's like people. It's like uh, people always like now. It's, you know, like we'll group people together. It's like yo, I don't even want to be grouped with any any people around anymore. It's yeah. like. It's like never. I don't. I don't like that. It's like let me just like be me, and and like understand and what we trying to do for me. You know, mm. don't put me in that group. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like I don't even. I don't even see them no more. <laughs> <laughs> that's, it. Five, yeah. that's what ha that's what happens when you got a classic. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, so n need me. I mean, you're in a steady relationship, and like yeah. you're trying to explain yourself yeah. um, about this career that's changing and how it's impacting your partner. Um, you I mean what real life challenges that you've had, and uh, th that after you kind of you've been growing and yeah. growing, you know. What I mean, but what real life challenges have you actually had to manage in your relationship, yeah. where like you know. Your woman kind of goes, okay, I'm comfortable with it, or yeah. I'm not gonna make it an issue, or yeah. was it, was she just the person who just does like she got it from go from jump? Yeah, I think I think the 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 cool thing about me and her is that um, she's been with me like before everything, like mm. before we were still like conceiving it and like trying to figure mm. it out, you know, as kids, you know, yeah. we met in like high school, so f like that's why for me it's just like it's just so real and it's like. Uh, you know, she's always been like the balance, and she she gives me that um, you know, understanding of like that perspective, and it's like she's just like a real person, you know, and, and you need to keep real people around you, and it'll keep you in check, you know. Yeah. So yeah. I feel that's how I feel with her. So, but like the the challenges is like you know, as a there's like a whole bunch of challenges, you know, and like a whole bunch of distractions, like mm -hmm. they're always gonna be that I was saying like I always say this like to the team and that stuff I feel like this life thing is like a little maze right so this is how I see it. it's like um, this life journey is amazing here's the start and there's the like final destination right and mm -hmm. I can see it and like m my dreams and like the vision set out for us and like I, I can see where it is right but here's the maze and here's the beginning and I got my girl's hand and it's like I know that I need her to get there, mm -hmm. right? So when I enter this maze, it's like here comes all these distractions. Here comes like the money. Here comes like the girls. Here mm -hmm. comes like the beautiful people. And if I like let go of that and latch onto that, it's like I'm, I never get to the destination. So I need to keep like everybody who's been with me from day one and who wants me to get there, go inside that maze and we just get there, bro. Don't worry about like everything that's happening because like it's about the happiness and. If everyone's happy at the end, at the end of this life thing, when it's all said and done, when the cameras are switched off, when it's just like you and the people who matter, when you get there and everybody's happy, what more you need, bro? Mm, mm. What you need? That's great. I mean, just from a from an experience perspective, it's always good to have those um, those principles. Mm. But, you know, um, you must also accommodate change. Mm. And change, you don't always become the one that changes. Mm. You know, sometimes Word. sometimes you do you and you do you so well that the world opens up things that other people couldn't see yeah. you actually yeah. becoming, you know? Yeah. So when you're in a relationship, um, it's great when your partner also embraces your growth also mm -hmm. and knows their position yeah. as you grow also, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it all works, but sometimes you get too big and someone literally kind of can't they can't still want that same position and yeah, they still yeah, want that but it's same different. person who but literally like was trying to figure it out. I feel you. you know I'm with I mean? you, bro. I'm so with you. Um, as long as as long as that happens, you know, you you you, you do exactly what you're saying. Yeah. But you never ever put yourself in a position where where like you changing for the better, but um, someone else is not changing. Yeah. You, it, it keeps holding you back, you know. Um, on privacy, you know. What are the problems? What are the problems of a twenty-something 
And, and you know, what's your problem with old niggas? What, what do you <laughs> mean to you, man? What the fuck? You nah, know? you know. Why are you so mad? And how uh, old these <laughs> niggas? How old? You know, is it older than me? Nah, uh, how I old say, is this old? It's you like, know? it's like, um, um, we'll start up before we even get to like who the old niggas are. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll start of like what Let's the. Cheer this old. You know, we'll, we'll break it down <laughs> yeah. for them. Um, but like the problems are like, when I say problems of a 20 some, it's like, it's like, you know, when, when I even say it on another song where it's like, um, I only feel alive when I'm taking the shit that's killing me. Mm. And that's mm. like, yeah. You know, that's the kids these days. They'll go off like adrenaline rushes and like whatever you taking. If you're smoking too much, if you like drinking too much, most niggas my age are like invested in women too. So it's like girls too much. It's mm -hmm. like too much of the any of those things. Yeah. Broadcast live. Bro